Hey, it's Dougie, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a sample Excel file with Microsoft Copilot. Now, the reason why you would want to do this is sometimes you want to create a table of information. Maybe you're creating a Power BI dashboard and you just need some sample data. For me, I'm going to be creating a follow up video where I'm going to use Copilot to analyze data inside of Excel spreadsheet, but I just want a big sample list first. So, technically, this would work in, um, in, different copilot interfaces but I'm just going to use it inside of the web browser interface um, and I've got a bit of a pre-made uh, prompt already um, a bit like blue Peter here's what I made earlier essentially what I'm saying is I want you to create a table that simulates findings from a SharePoint workshop with a client the table lists all of the 50 SharePoint sites that they might want the table should have the following columns so in this scenario what I'm doing is I'm trying to simulate um, the output of a SharePoint workshop with a customer in which we've listed out all the SharePoint sites they want, the SharePoint site names, the department that owns and the content owner, the restricted um, or whether it's restricted or open or whether it's a team or communication site. And then I'm going to say, please add in some sample rows to the table. So click on submit and this is now going to go away and start creating me that table. So there we go. We can already start to see that it's put together a great list here. SharePoint site name, HR policies, the department that owns its human resources, content owner is Jane Doe, restricted, will be restricted or not. I mean, in reality, to be honest, this would probably be open, um, but we're not going to split hairs here. We're just purely putting together a bit of an idea. Now, we've got this table put together. It looks brilliant. It looks great. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to add more rows to this because I want to make this a much bigger file. So I'm going to say, please add another 100 rows to the table. So this is now going to go and add more. It's going to create me a bigger file. It's got everything I wanted to do bang on the head, really, with, with this particular prompt. And it's got all of the kind of data that I need um, that I want to use as part of my analysis inside of Excel afterwards. Um, so it's almost finished. You can see it's, it's actually going pretty pretty far down here. It's got quite a lot of data here now. Um, of course, we could do things like asking it to add more columns. If we want to add more columns, we could ask it to update um, if, say, for example, it got something a bit wrong or the, the uh, um, I've seen it in the past before where for some reason it, it doesn't include a space in the site name. It's almost thinking it's like a, it needs to have no spaces, like it's a URL type of thing. And I've asked it to split it out in the past before. Um, but there we go. It, it's it's understood the task. We've got our sample table now created, and all we now need to do to get it out into Excel is just a click on this Excel uh, uh, editing Excel button, and that'll then open it up into Excel. We'd save that as our file, and then it's ready to go then um, for us to start using Copilot to analyze this data. So I click on that um, editing Excel button. That then opens it up, and you can see I've now got this Excel sheet uh, ready to go. Um, the only thing I would um, do is I would then obviously make sure that this was actually a table. So I'd select all of this. See how many rows we actually ended up with. Oh, 101. So it did actually add the 100 um, on top of it. Um, and then we're going to go to format as a table. We're going to select just a color. Say my table has headers. Click on OK. And there we go. So now I've got my sample data ready to go. I can start using Copilot. Um, so look out for the next video in which I'm going to show you how we use Copilot for analyzing this data uh, using Copilot for Excel. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to our channel. We've got loads of content about Microsoft 365, Copilot, Power Platform, Azure, all the great stuff that you know and love. Um, also, if you need any professional services or support using any of these products or rolling out something like Copilot, then there's a link in the description box below. Get in contact with us and we can talk about how we can help you adopt Copilot. We have a free consultation, um, so you get a free hour with one of our experts to talk about the requirements that you have, and then we can talk about how we can implement Copilot for you. Thank you very much for watching this video and keep your eyes peeled for future uh, Valto videos.